Here at Circuit Digest, we have built a lot of DIY projects and I'm sure people watching this video have also built things which are functional and useful. But what happens after that? At least in my case, our project sits on the office shelf collecting dust and which is why in this video, we're going to talk about crowdfunding. So if you're someone who has a functional DIY project and you think it can be made into a product, then this video is for you. We're going to discuss what it takes to take a project from a DIY stage to a crowdfunding platform like Kickstarter or Indiegogo and get funded. This is Ashwin, you're watching Circuit Digest. Let's get started. We will look into things like how much money is needed to launch a Kickstarter campaign. Do you need to be a registered company if you want to raise funds? How can you launch a campaign from a country like India where crowdfunding is not supported? Is your project even good enough to be on a crowdfunding platform like Kickstarter and much more? First things first, I myself do not have enough credibility to talk about this because I have not launched any crowdfunding campaign yet. So I went to Kickstarter and under technology projects from India, I found this successful project called Pet Fusion, which has raised over 6 lakh rupees funding successfully. So I contacted Priyank Park, a YouTuber and a 3D printing hobbyist from Lucknow to help us get answers by sharing his experience. So Priyank, thank you for joining us. Uh, can you start by telling us about yourself and how you started with 3D printing? Uh, my name is Priyank and everyone who's watching uh, and I'm from Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh and I'm pursuing BBA in uh, international business as a specialization and I have a keen interest in 3D printing and uh, 3D model design and that's what I do. I am a student and I design stuff. So basically uh, I had this YouTube channel, a gaming YouTube channel when I was like 16 or 17, 20, 20 probably and I grew that channel it went to like 130k subscribers but after that I realized uh, I mean I made money from that channel like 1.5 1.6 lakhs in just six seven months and then I took that money and at that point of time I saw a video of uh, uh, somebody using a 3d printer to 3d print uh, cool stuff so I thought this is a great thing and then I bought uh, my first 3d printer Ender 3 and when I bought that, I uh, go to this website called Thingiverse uh, Printable. At that point, I only know Thingiverse to be honest. So I used to go on Thingiverse, search for 3D model and download it and uh, print uh, those things. But then I really, I should also learn designing. So uh, I downloaded the Fusion 360, put my student ID so it's free for educational purposes. So I started designing, first I designed some basic thing, then I I improved myself in uh, 3D modeling. Your project, the Pet Fusion Mission, has been successfully funded from Kickstarter. Can you take us through the journey right from the beginning? So actually, this uh, Pet Fusion machine is like I started designing the first version. The first version was basically a wooden board with the four legs and all those things uh, tied up at the back <coughs> and on the top. And there's this nozzle and the spool and motor. And that was the first model. It's basically like a typical Indian DIY. It should work. It, should not, <laughs> it doesn't matter how it looks. It should work. <laughs> like all the exposed wire and all that at the bottom. Pretty ugly. So after that what I did is I looked for more. Uh, then I improved the design a little bit. So I'm, I, had this, I had this thing in my mind that I want the machine to be 3D printable as much as possible. I got a, the, the hitting point was uh, there's some Indian guy who contacted me and Indians are like they don't usually buy a DIY related stuff. I mean they buy electronics but if they have to make they don't buy a fully like a machine which is a DIY machine but you go to that person directly and ask them oh I want that machine can you send it to me of course you, uh, they know that you're gonna of course add your margins to it so I sold that machine to that person and then I realized, oh, if he's willing to buy, I can sell it to the uh, first world people like Americans and Japanese and Canadians. <laughs> so I, I thought, uh, let's start with Kickstarter. It's, it's a good platform. Okay, so you're from India and a lot of people watching this video are also from India. But unfortunately, crowdfunding platforms like Kickstarter or Indiegogo have a selected list of few countries from where you can launch a campaign. And India is not in that list. So how did you go about that? Let's start from the beginning. So 
I already had the design like all the uh, all the files that is required that I'm selling design was ready so now I went to Kickstarter but as in uh, the Kickstarter don't allow from uh, Kickstarter only allow people from specific country to run a campaign so so the loophole or you can say the another way to do that is to have somebody in that country someone you know a family member or anyone to launch the campaign or what else you can do just get a LLC registered in the United States that's the method that I've used because I had no one in the United States or the country which are supported by Kickstarter so I got my LLC registered using Stripe Atlas I paid $400 but if you go directly on Stripe Atlas they're gonna ask you like $500 so the better way to do that is to go to some review video on YouTube where they are talking about Stripe Atlas because they're always gonna provide your link and if you go through that link you have to pay only $400 most of the time so go through that link you're gonna save the $100 and once you go that you get your LLC registered it's a super easy process and after or make sure you have a passport too for the LLC you don't need a passport but in the uh, in the further process like for getting a bank account and once you get your LLC registered there's this this organization of United States United States Treasury Department FINCERN F-I-N-C-E-R on which you have to after getting your LLC your EIN number you have to go to their website and register yourself so that United States government knows there's this non-resident people who have LLC registered in this state and get your LLC registered in Delaware or Wyoming these are two best places and then you have uh, after you get your LLC registered then get a bank account so on Stripe Atlas uh, they recommend uh, two three like online banks uh, so I saw first name Mercury and then there was this Nova I think I'm unable to recall the exact name I so I went with Mercury it sounds pretty cool so I went to Mercury it's so basically like a zero balance account you get it you don't have to pay any fees you don't have to pay account opening fees anything just go there uh, fill all the details your company details uh, your company's address uh, Stripe Atlas gonna provide you a virtual address let me clear up on that so if you have your project ready, you can directly go to Kickstarter and launch your campaign. It is completely free and you don't have to be registered as a company to do that. But once your campaign is funded, you have to give 5% cut to Kickstarter, 3% for payment processing, and the remaining money can be used to build your project and ship it to your backers. But if you're from India or any other countries which does not support crowdfunding, then you have to register yourself as a company in US and also open a bank account. It will cost you roughly around 400 to 500 dollars for that. But it's not as simple as it sounds, right? You can't just log into Kickstarter and launch a campaign. It needs a certain level of preparation before you launch a campaign and even after your campaign is launched. So what all did you do during this phase? Because you have a product ready, okay? A prototype or if you're working in a 3D files, that's I'm talking about from that perspective. So if you have like files ready every single thing and you're talking about the description in the video So I'm already a youtuber. So the video is not the issue for me. So suppose uh, So recording a video took me just one day I Took the machine. I record a short video. Make sure you, you have a video of your product It should be really put almost all your efforts in that video If you have to spend a little bit of money to pay to the editor, if you're supposed to can't edit the video Get it done because video is like the most important thing, the most of the most important thing. And your description should be like also in super details, should be just think from the perspective of customer, what he or she wants. Like if somebody coming to your landing page, he should get all the answers for his question in his mind. So do that. And also if you able to attach uh, some kind of agenda to it, like environmental sustainability. <laughs> <laughs> which I think is more of a sham so to say just a marketing that the company can do so so well to be honest I got everything done by chat GPT I uploaded all the my information that this is what I want this is how you have to do it and I, t I told chat GPT I, I like I give chat GPT every single detail and I asked it to create a FAQ create a description for me create a, even tables for me I do the calculation I got everything done by chat GPT Okay, so what happens after your campaign is successfully funded? Uh, where does this money go and how does it reach you? 
So if you go to the campaign page, you're gonna see $7,100. If you see $7,000 on the screen, let me just give you a breakdown. So $7,116, I think. And out of which there are a few drop backers. So drop backer are basically the backer uh, from whom the Kickstarter was unable to detect the amount from their credit card or debit card. Uh, from the backers account actually and then what happened is uh, if suppose there's this issue in the card and so the Kickstarter unable to do those so after seven days what Kickstarter does is they put them in a drop back list so now Kickstarter won't gonna try any further so obviously there's gonna be a certain drop backer basically uh, and still on the front page you're gonna see like oh seven thousand dollar but let's suppose from that I got I have like uh, 13 something drop backer so detect that much amount of money is like 400 something so i in total uh, and after cutting all the fees and all that i received like six thousand dollars okay now for the final question how can someone know if their project is uh, kickstarter worthy like how can they evaluate it and uh, based on your experience what would be your advice for people who are trying to launch their first campaign uh well it's my first time too so but still here my few bits on this too uh first of all it should be solving some kind of problem and it should be it should look good i mean what i see is most of the DIYers what they do is just they just make something that should work i mean uh, but if you make it in a way that it looks good because i follow these uh, design pages I start following the design pages the first recommendation design looks matter make it compact make it beautiful in whichever way you can it truly depends on product product because when you're creating something just take inspiration from apple like make it sleek beautiful because uh, first world people i think they give a lot of i might be wrong too but whatever uh, whatever understanding that i have from my learning in business world is that uh, product looks matter so make sure you make your di project anything you're making it's beautiful it should be functional and so work on your design it should be functional that's the first basic thing of course you're making something it has it's going to be functional but make it beautiful as much as possible work on the design aspect too that'll be really grateful great so that's it for this video guys i think i have given you that slightest motivation and have encouraged you to try your diy projects on crowdfunding platforms i know we have barely touched the surface and there are a lot of things to cover so if you have any questions drop them in the comment section and i will try my best in answering them that being said have a good day tata bye bye